Hey guys, I'm going to be making vegan chocolate chip cookies today. Um, completely sodium free. Um, I get this brand of baking soda. It is called um, Energy, the company. It's vegan, gluten free, yeast free. It's really good. And there is zero grams of sodium, no cholesterol. I like it. Um, so. All right, so let's begin. First thing we're gonna need is one cup of coconut oil. Now you can use a cup of vegan butter if you want. I use the coconut oil because there is no sodium in it and coconut oil is delicious. It leaves a great flavor in the cookie, so. All right, so first I'm gonna put that in here. Okay, so we have the cup of coconut oil in there. Now you're going to be adding a half a cup of light brown sugar and a half a cup of um, white sugar. And you're going to take that and cream it together. Okay, that's all creamed together. Now you're going to add to that a tablespoon of vanilla extract. I don't ever measure vanilla extract. That looks like a tablespoon. And you're going to mix that in as well. Okay, now that you have that in, you're going to take um, one fourth cup of organic coconut milk. I get the unsweetened vanilla, um, and it is extremely low in sodium. I think it only has like five or 10 milligrams. So pour that in, and now we're going to mix that. that's all mixed in. Now you are going to add two and uh, two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour and you're pretty much just gonna add that in a little bit at a time probably like a cup and then another cup and then um, Okay, well, add the first cup, start mixing, and then um, we'll add the other cup. Okay, the first cup is mixed in. Now we're going to add the other cup and a quarter. And then we're going to add... It calls for a tablespoon of baking soda. But because this is sodium-free... Anytime you use this energy brand, you have to double it. So I'm going to be putting two tablespoons of baking soda in. So no matter what the recipe, baking soda or baking powder, with this energy, it's double. If you're not using that and you don't mind the sodium, you can just use regular baking soda when you use just a tablespoon of it. And now we're going to mix this. Before we mix this, I forgot, since it's vegan, this is our egg substitute. You use a teaspoon um, for every egg. So I'm going to be using what would have been two eggs. So I'm going to use two um, teaspoons or a tablespoon. Okay, so I'm going to pour that in. That is two teaspoons or a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar and now I'm going to mix okay the batter is all mixed um, really. 
Okay, so what I like to do, I know people like to put it in before, but I wait until the end and I'm adding one cup of vegan morsels. The mini ones, I like the mini. And I'm pretty much just gonna, it's kind of hard to do with just one hand, but I'm gonna pretty much just fold this in. So I'll do that and I'll show you when it's done. Oh, and also, while I'm folding this in, you should preheat your oven to 375 degrees. Okay, it's all folded in the yummy chocolate chips. And now we are going to get um, a cookie sheet, and I line it with parchment paper, so. Okay, see, cookie sheet. Lined with parchment paper. Now I'm going to roll these into balls and I'll show you that before I put it in the oven. Okay, so the balls should look like this. Now, what I usually do is flatten them all out like this. I'll just get flattened out a little bit. <clears throat> See? That's it. Just flatten them out a little bit. And then we'll be throwing them in the oven, 375 degrees, for 10 minutes. Okay, they're in the oven for 10 minutes. Um, I'm going to start a second tray in a second with the rest of the dough. I usually get about three, three and a half dozen with this uh, recipe, so... I will show it to you when it comes out of the oven. Okay, the second batch is all done, waiting to go in. Um, the cookies should be done any moment, the first batch. I have a cooling rack down for it. Um, so this way they come out, you can put them on here to cool down. And that's the timer. The cookies, the first batch are done. Okay, they're out of the oven. Oh my goodness, they smell so good looks so yummy. Um, I should have used the bigger rack, um, bigger cookie sheet. They got a little stuck together, but that's all right. I'll separate them. They are so yummy, moist, delicious. Um, give them a try. If you do, let me know. Tag me in it. Send me a picture. All right. Hope you enjoy. Have a blessed day, everyone.